We stopped at um, at home to look at stuff today. We got a, a new little shelf for the side of my desk, and we found these. Uh, it was what seven polishes for ten bucks? Not even that. Not even that. Not even that. Something like seven ninety nine. I want to say. And there's a really there. nice. There's a really very nice blue. And I like their silver glitter. And they have a nice iridescent white. And other than that, the other four aren't that great. Um, but that is the 39th brand of nail polish that I own. What's the count? I don't know. Um, I'd have to recount it. Well, what was it last time you counted? La the, when I actually counted, it was 354. It's now got to be close to, if not over, 400. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then today I didn't even use polish. I used foil. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, but I did have um, an epiphany today. Should I talk about my epiphany? Should I? I believe. Okay. All right. So here's the thing. What I like is I like painting them. And then um, I like taking it off. And doing it as soon as it's on, I want it. Are you, are you through mo moving the camera around? <laughs> Making everybody sick. Um, I like to paint them, and then I like to peel them, and then I like to paint them, and then I want as soon as as soon as the polish is on, I want it off again so I can start all over again. Which is why we have all these sticks to play with because all I want to do is paint stuff and then paint again. Uh, so I've been using the peel off base coat, which is awesome. Um, cause half the fun is peeling the stuff off and then it comes off easier. Um, but here's the thing. Everything that I watch says, oh, when you go to do your manicure, you need to, um, like rub your nails with alcohol first to get the natural oils off the top of your nail and it helps everything adhere better. And the day, for some reason, after months, it finally occurs to me, I don't want it to adhere better. I want to take it off. I want to do my nails at 7 o'clock in the morning, and then I want to go to work, and by 10 o'clock, I want my nail polish gone so that when I get home, I can start all over again. So I'm going to stop doing that because they are breaking like crazy, and I think it's because I'm drying them out. This one is broken in this corner right here, like this whole corner. You, you can't see it, but this whole corner is actually loose. I bumped it on my iPad case. I don't have an iPad. I have an Android. I have a fire. But I bumped it on my fireplace. Fire case. Ethan went out to take the garbage. And when he came back, I said, he says, how are you? And I said, I haven't moved from the couch and I broke a nail. Which I think is a new level of old person. You know, the whole I slept funny. Now it's I sit on the couch funny. Um, but I think it's because I did my nails like three times yesterday. So that's what I think. So I'm not going to dry them out anymore. And I'm just going to let them peel when they want to peel. And then I didn't even put polish on. I think I'm just rambling at this point. I'm lonely. Um, so, what are we doing? Well, what I did previously, and just didn't film it because it didn't turn out well. Previously, on weekends at Disney. Wrong channel. So I made cruise nails. Last week on Blossom. Yeah. Look, look what I found in my purse. I found a bunch of peelies in the bottom of my purse. <laughs> so as I was starting to say, I made cruise Sorry. nails. The only thing is, because I mixed and matched gel top coat with regular top coat, it's really mucked up. So I want a rematch on this thing so that it looks nice. We're talking about doing a display board of Nail art. Nail art we're proud of. Here's and some. I feel like this would be something that could make the cut if I could just get it to look right. Okay. These are some of mine. Look at my alien dude. Oh. Then I did. Here was, here, get this out of the damn. Here was some foil. And then look, I did a rainbow gradient with a hollow glitter on top and then I did it a different way with a different hollow glitter. So 
This looks sugar coated. But instead it was something went horribly wrong with the hollow process. It, the um the top coat ate the hollow, but then it kind of came back. Mm. That one. I mean I like the sugar coatedness anyway. Here's a bunch of Mickeys and a star. Okay, this one is um Sharpie stamping. I mm. used a Sharpie. I used sharp a bunch of colored Sharpies and colored mm. in all the little stars on the stamp. Mm. And then put polish on the back of them and stamped it, and that's what it came out looking like. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. And none of the rest of these are interesting. Oh, there's one more. What's this one? Man, yeah, shit. Okay. So that's what we've been doing. All right, I'm bound and determined to get this to film correctly this time. So what I'm going to do is, there's a channel called 20 Nails, and they have a tendency to do like these fast motion, here's what you can do, nail art style. And one of the things that they tend to do a lot is freehand brushing, which I'm terrible at. But I, what I want, wherever my swatch went. Sorry. All right, so again, this is the inspiration piece. Um, but to get this swoop they would freehand that and i'm terrible at it so instead what i'm going to use is this tape to tape off what my halves are and then go from there all right so here's our inspiration piece once more i'm just going to keep going back to this so what i'm going to do is i was going to drop my stick i'm going to use scotch tape to lay out what my swoop is here. And the problem is this wrinkles real easy. All right, you I think. Hard to tell, but I think I've got my swoop defined here. So now for the polishes. We got Target Mystery Polish and we got Claw Money. Alright, now the thing about this Target polish, besides being a once in a lifetime purchase, it's extremely thick. It's not. You need a sponge to get this stuff off of here. This isn't making for great television, but it is what it is. Now the next trick is, this tape has to get peeled off. Um, you're supposed to peel it off while it's wet. Yeah. Just saying. But the thing is, i got to do two coats of this polish, so I'm kind of like up a creek. Well, it is what it is. Snap. Nice. It's great. How the hell do you plan on doing the red? Top coat. All right, so coat number one is almost dry. It's not an exact copy of the first time around, but this isn't the scene precision here. All right, so coat number one of this is good to go. I had a little bit of a blip of polish across the clean edge here, so I actually used a exacto knife to cut away the uh, or to scrape off the little extra polish. <laughs> Round two. Right, after further ado, that's the second coat. I've got another blip of polish that's going to need dealing with. But so far, so good. Okay, I just counted the nail polishes. I keep track of them in a book. Well, actually, 
I have a numbering system, um, kind of like accounting, and then it corresponds each bottle gets labeled with the number, and that matches its swatch stick. So, and the swatch sticks are organized by color. So if I'm looking for a blue, I grab the blue ring, start digging through, I find the color I want. That will give me a number. Let's randomly pick 907. The book, go to the 900 page. Well, that didn't tell me anything. It does tell me it's fun lacquer. Um, this is just to keep count, and so that I know what brand names they are. Well, actually, I need to know that. I'm not making any sense. It's almost as if I'm hopped up on sugar or something. I'm not. Okay, so you find the color you want. You find the brand name by looking in the book. Once you find the brand name, then you can go over here and find the brand. Here's Fun Lacquer. There's 907. Weirdly, one of my favorite colors. So that's how you find the polish you want. So all of the swatch sticks have numbers, all of the bottles have numbers. All right, I ended up having to do three coats on this because it just wasn't all there. So now I'm ready to put top coat over this so that I can do the red. All right, so I've got my blue, I've got my top coat. So now I've got my tape. And I'm trying to D sticky ties. All the scotch tape is. It's really hard to know if you lined it up. Don't blame the tape. But here we go. Now it's claw time. Claw. There we go. Now again, I don't think this is fully lined up, and it isn't. But that's all right because with this dividing line, I'm actually going to put stuff across it, so it's going to forgive some sins. The red's dry, so now it's time for coat number two. I'm hoping the second coat can help fill in this little bit of a gap as well. And so the third coat of red is on. That's how I roll. So here's how we're coming along versus the original. Not bad. So next up, it's no pressure time because I'm going to stamp. So I got a question in the comments where did this come from? It came from Maniology. Uh, it's got a little stamp around the one end and then brush on the other. So the game plan is to selectively choose this anchor or one of them and apply it to the blue field here. No pressure because, well actually the blue is top coated but Still. All right, I'm a nervous wreck when I do this, but I think I managed to pull it off. It took three or four tries, but here we are. So now I can top coat this. Oh, I think the issue with the other one was I used the no fuss stamping friendly polish or top coat and then really clouded up the design so this time i'm just going to stick with the huge it's going to do what it's going to do all right so now that things are dry-ish or dry enough it's time to go in on this top coat
trying to kind of glide along so I don't smear up the anchor. I think I managed to get her done. Let that dry. This is exciting television, but here we are. Now for my next trick. What to do with the dividing line. The first time around, not that it really shows up all that well, I did a strip of yellow striping tape. But it kind of gets lost in the shuffle here. So my plan is since we are about to take our fifth cruise, I'm going to do five Swarovskis. With the biggest one being in the center and then the four radiating out from it. Two and two. Um, I only did one coat of clear coat or top coat because now I have to place the gems. No pressure. So here's Jamie's picker. This is from Lantern and Rand, just to be proactive. So we'll see how that goes. All right, to work kind of quickly. My understanding, I've never actually done gem placement, but I'm going to play like somebody on TV who does gem placement. My understanding is you put some top coat down. So that's something to stick to. The problem with filming this as I do it is my depth perception is about zero. All right, so there's my biggie. I think I need to start radiating. Joy, but I've never used this tool before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Place these. Probably just use my finger at this point. All right. I'll try to fuss with this, but I'm going to have a very tight window here before this sets. Well, that's my solution to the joining of the colors crisis. Erg. Lost a gem. Okay, I think I'm there. I'll let that dry and hope for the best. All right, I think that's a wrap. These are set. Got my 
top coat on. I did not add any more. Kind of going with that as is, since this is just a sample. It's a bit crustier on the uh, gems, but it is what it is. I don't know that you're supposed to put top coat over the gems. I'd, just because these are Swarovskis, I don't want to mess around with these. So, that's that. How's that for cruise nails, huh? Can't wait to actually cruise. Fabulous! Yeah.